Uh, this morning on Capitol Hill, a House hearing on the U.S.'s chaotic withdrawal from Afghanistan in August of 2021. President Biden will be under the microscope for the collapse of the Afghan government and the deadly race to evacuate Americans from the country. As the Taliban seized power, a suicide bombing at the Kabul airport killed 13 U.S. service members and about 170 Afghan civilians. Joe Khalil is live on Capitol Hill with a preview of today's hearing. Good morning, Joe. Yeah, Mitch, good morning. And for everything that you just laid out, certainly the pullout from Afghanistan in 2021, not one of the high points, right, of the Biden administration. Uh, so that issue is going to be taken up today by the Republican-led House Oversight Committee, and we expect that it is going to get contentious. The chairman of that committee, Jim Comer, has said that today's work is largely going to focus on the inspector general's report, basically a top-down review of everything that happened with regard to that withdrawal from Afghanistan, what went wrong, and what could have gone better. And the chairman today, Jim Comer, put out a statement where he didn't really pull punches. He said here, uh, quote, as a result of the withdrawal, it specifically led to the deaths of 13 service members, left Americans completely stranded, allowed U.S. military equipment to fall into Taliban hands, jeopardized progress made by Afghan women, and destabilized the region. Now, two weeks ago, the White House released a summary of a top-down review of the Afghan withdrawal. Its conclusions were a lot different. They laid the blame mostly on the previous administration. Admiral John Kirby uh, with the National Security Council saying the conditions that led to the most dire consequences were put in place by the Trump White House when they made a deal with the Taliban to leave by a certain date. He says that really tied President Biden's hands. He didn't negotiate with the Taliban. He didn't invite the Taliban to Camp David. He didn't release 5,000 prisoners. He didn't reduce force levels in Afghanistan to 2,500. And he didn't have an arrangement with the Taliban that they weren't attack our troops. He came in with a certain set of circumstances. He had no ability to change. So Republicans, you can imagine, took issue with that statement saying the Biden White House is going to need to be held accountable. And today, in part, that's what they want to do with this hearing, which starts 9 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Eastern time. So just a little while from now, we expect to hear from inspectors general from the State Department and the Department of Defense, among others. Mitch. Joe Khalil on Capitol Hill. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.